This video is illustrating the process of creating ozonated olive oil. We provide ozone equipment for the production of ozonated olive oil and frequently get specific questions on this process. This video should help answer the main questions we receive on this process. The video starts out in real time. You will see ozone gas start bubbling into the liquid at a flow rate of around 1 liter per minute. The ozone level on the ozone, ozone analyzer starts out at about zero part per million or within the margin of error for this ozone analyzer. We start the process at about 4.30 in the afternoon and the temperature in the room and the temperature of the process both start at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We switch to a time lapse video where we're taking a picture every 60 seconds and tying those together to make the video move quickly. That's why you don't see the second hand move but you do see the minute hand move. You see the ozone level on the off gas measured by the UV 106 rise, but it never rises very high. It stays to a very safe level, almost until the very end of the process. You notice the temperature of the process rises fairly rapidly, and it rises to about 85 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It never rises above that point. We do have a window cracked open in the room, just slightly. And that makes the temperature of the room decrease slightly as the process moves on. Interestingly, the process temperature decreases along with the room temperature, showing us how little effort it takes to maintain a consistent or cool temperature of the process without any external cooling devices whatsoever. The cracked window also ventilates the room a little bit. I will note that at no time throughout the process did the ozone level in the room with a slightly cracked window ever get to an unsafe level. It was very easy to maintain a safe ozone level, even without capturing the off gas from this process. So we had a good mating between ozone generation and the amount of liquid that we're creating. As the process goes on, you'll notice that the color changes from a yellow to a whitish color and puts a little bit of foam on the top of the process. You'll also notice we start to see a dramatic change happen. What we see happening is the ozone level of the off gas starts to rise rapidly. Along with this, the temperature of the process starts to cool. This is even after the temperature of the room rises because it's morning now. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, that's interesting. That's showing us that the process is nearing completion. The other thing that we'll see is we'll see it start to solidify in the process. We'll start to see that the bubbles don't rise as much. We'll start to see a lot more foam and we'll see the color of the process turn to a very white color. I want to point out that even at 1,000 part per million of ozone at the off gas with one liter per minute of gas flowing in is only 130 milligrams per hour of ozone production. So the ozone level leaving this, uh, this reaction is very, very low. We were easily able to keep it ventilated in this room with a slightly cracked window. Towards the end, you'll see the bubbling stop almost completely. We did shut the process off finally, but you will notice that it turns to a thick Cons thick consistency is no longer a liquid and that's showing us that the process is complete that even at room temperature we're not refrigerating this it did turn to a very solid gel-like form and that means the process is complete and you have created ozonated olive oil